Hey you guys, Troy here. Welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to build your own website using the Wix platform. Through the Wix editor, which utilizes WYSIWYG, you're going to see how easy it is to create and seamlessly manage your own website and all of the elements. So if you're ready to get started, go ahead and click the link below this video and we will jump right in. Once on page, first things first, go ahead and select start now. Plug in your email address and password, and then go ahead and click sign up. Once that's done, we're ready to pick what type of website we want to create. Now you may already have this in mind. Take a look at some of these top level categories, whether it's a business website, a personal blog, feel free to pick what's applicable to you. And for today's video, I'm going to go ahead and select a business website. As I mentioned, we want to leverage the Wix editor, so we can go ahead and select that option. And then we're ready to pick a template for our website. Now, a template really offers us about 50%, if not more, of the heavy lifting in creating our website. So take the time to pick a template that's suitable for you. Through the left-hand navigation, we can again take a look at the categories that are accessible, and then the themes found underneath each one of those categories. And there's no shortage of options, as you can see. So feel free to click through some of these. You just simply hover over a theme, you can click view and get a sense of the look and feel of the theme as well as the placement of different elements, whether it's the navigation, the logo, the, what the hero image space looks like, and scroll through and take a look. You can see if it's fitting for what you have in mind for your website. Once you've had a chance to do a bit of discovery and you're ready to pick a template, simply hover over the template and you can click on edit. And then we're ready to start making some changes. So the website elements are coming together for our template for us to get going. Once that's all set, I wanna draw your attention to a few different things here. So I've selected my template. On the top, we've got a top level navigation here. Notably is the undo redo feature. So as we're clicking through managing different elements, we can undo any changes we make or redo and set them back in place. We can switch our views whether we want to see a mobile or desktop version of our site as we're editing. For those that get a little anxious with auto-saving, we've got the option to save as we go. We can preview our website prior to setting it live. And then of course publishing once we are ready to effectively set our website live. Next, we've got the left-hand side navigation here. First and foremost is going to be our background. So this is going to cover our hero image space here. We can update and uh, manage the color, update the imagery, or if we want to place a video in this place, we can do that as well. So if we want to add a bit of movement, uh, we're welcome to drop in a video right from here. Now Wix makes available for you a few different stock images and uh, video options. You're welcome to use that or use um, images or video at your disposal as needed. Next, we have the add option. So if there's anything that you're adding to your site, this is where you're going to be starting because this from here, we can pick text that we're adding in, whether it's headers, subheaders, body copy, uh, images, gallery, slideshow, different elements that you can drop in your site. That's all going to be found here from the add option. So let's say one of the first changes that many folks will make to their website is going to be dropping in your logo. Uh, comes in the form of an image. I'm going to recommend a transparent PNG as most would. So go ahead and select image, my images, and we've got a few options at our disposal. Now, already under all media, I've uploaded my best logo ever, our logo. Um, once you're ready to, uh, to utilize that, you've got a, a few other options as well. If you've got your social media accounts integrated, which you can do, you can pull um, assets right from those accounts. You can use some st free stock images or premium or paid stock images right from here through big stock images. And I always recommend, if you're first starting out, try to gather as much uh, imagery and assets that you have already at your disposal. Or again, if it's applicable to a branded website, uh, you should have this readily available. So under my images, let's say we wanna add in uh, files on the fly. Simply go over to upload images and it's gonna to default to our desktop for retrieval and we can pull any files right from there. Again, I've already done this for my logo, so I can select it 
add it to page, and it's been dropped right into the website. Now, a bit oversized, not a transparent PNG, um, so don't follow, <laughs> do as I uh, say, not as I do. Go ahead and resize and alter the logo if that applies to you. And then you can place it where you'd like to. So I've already resized it, and I know where I, work, where I want it to go, kind of in the intuitive place here where this wrench uh, element is. So I'm ready to start deleting some elements. So if this is uh, the same for you, once you select an element and you're ready to delete it, simply right click it, and then through the options that are available, you'll find delete here. And I'm gonna do that to everything that's really in my way for updating this logo. And remove the circle and then I'm ready to drop in my logo now Wix makes this easy for you by having the uh, alignment you'll notice the lines that show up as I'm trying to align let's say with the header if I want to align with the subheader uh, if I want to align with the navigation I'm getting all of the bars that let me know okay you're not arbitrarily placing this this logo it's fitting with other elements that are on page so I've resized it, I've replaced it, I've kept that alignment in mind. And then one of the other things you would likely notice is the amended navigation that comes with uh, the selection of an element. With the image, I've got the image amended navigation. With the header, I've got an, an amended navigation specific to text or copy. And you'll notice that throughout as you're clicking through existing elements on site. So that looks good. Uh, again, transparent PNG, make sure you do that with your uh, logos now and in the future. Um, but I can always change this image, jumping right back into the same option. I can update it, take a look at a number of different options with respect to settings. If I wanna link the image to uh, elsewhere on site or a different page, one other thing I would just draw your attention to is alt text gets a bit confusing for some folks and it can be hidden away in other CMSs. Go ahead and make sure you find it and navigate down to it through the settings and plug it in right here. What's in the image, let Google know by dropping in your alt, uh, alt text. And then feel free to take a look at some of the other design features, whether it's cropping, uh, filters, take a look at that for your logo or any images as you can update it through the amended navigation. Reminder, we pulled that right from the add feature as you can do with any of the other, uh, other options that are uh, at your disposal here as well. Some of the other navigation options may or may not apply to you is take a look at the app market, usually solution specific or solves a problem. So uh, if that applies to you, wouldn't necessarily recommend it for the newbie, but for those folks that wanna look for more solutions, take a look at the app market. Next is my uploads. Now, if you've got files ready as you're building out your website, go ahead and drop them in here, whether it's a branded font, images in the way of logos, um, lifestyle images, you name it, you can drop them in here, videos, any files or assets, go ahead and drop them in because you can easily retrieve them um, right within Wix as you're editing and managing your website. Last two is start blogging. Select that if you're, uh, if you're doing um, a, uh, a blog and that applies to you. And then bookings, any commerce, reservations, that feature may be applicable. Um, so feel free to click through that and take a look. Next, I wanna go ahead and show you how to manage and effectively edit the navigation. A big uh, big question I get and uh, one worth going over here. So we wanna manage the menu as it's laid out here. So from left to right, it's shown from top to down, or top down. We can drag and drop the order if we wanna change the sequence. We can edit specific navigation options. We've got the home as the first. We can update the page info as the page name. So home, uh, as is reflected on site, we can update that. Now we've touched on alt text. Let's go ahead and show you to SEO Google. We were first on page info, SEO for Google. Go ahead and leverage this, um, the ease of accessing this information, as I should say, to populate this for purposes of indexing for Google and search relevance. So your page title, your website name, what you do, fill that information in. Your page description, what makes your, uh, your page unique? Keep in mind keywords, keep in mind benefits, features. I would refine it to really those three key areas, both your, both your benefits and features, and of course, make it keyword rich. What, what type of um, keywords are on page? Add those in, separated by commas, and then keep in mind if you wanna update your URL string, you can do that as well. It will default to the page name. Then a nice little feature here is you can preview what it would look like on Google. 
um, once you make those changes and make sure everything looks good to go. So you can do that for each one of the pages on your site, updating page info as well as SEO specific elements. Pretty straightforward and you can do that for each page. Now you'll notice too as I click through the navigation, we can see the different sections. It's gonna depend on what template you choose and how this is laid out, but go ahead and make sure, one, one thing I always remind folks to do is make sure once you've selected a template that you're not just cherry picking elements to manage and edit. You wanna really go through the template uh, with a fine tooth, tooth comb before you hit that publish button, before you make it live, making sure that no elements are there. If you don't have a social media presence, you probably don't need a social bar. So in the same uh, example uh, I showed previously, you just click on an element and if you wanna remove it, you can delete it. Understanding that you can always add anything back in right from the navigation. Cool guys? So pretty straightforward. Now I wanna show you some of the panel specific or page specific updates that we can make. Now, I won't be going over this anew because we've already edited features so you get a sense of how to do that with the amended navigation and how we can resize, reposition through dragging and dropping, how the alignment lets us know, okay, are we in, uh, are we uh, laterally aligned, uh, vertically and horizontally, are we in good shape? The other navigation option that you guys have probably noticed, which I would say refrain from using if you're, unless you're really experienced with CMS and can get granular with a high level of comfort, is the uh, right-hand navigation here for um, copy, you know, copy and paste, which you can right-click and use that as well, uh, alignment and arranging, but then some of the positioning uh, pieces, you can manually input that information, but just keep in mind, when you drag and drop, those alignment bars just give you an idea of, okay, are you in, are you in place? Are you aligned and is it not arbitrary in terms of overall placement? Use that amended navigation to see what other options are at your disposal and make changes as needed. So let's give me let's give you a quick example of me adding in another feature that's not necessarily just text or images. So let's see. Let's see. Let's add in a slideshow because that sort of fits the overall feel of this website where it's more panel driven, it doesn't necessarily parallaxing, it's a long scroll site, so it may be suitable. So it defaults and drops it to the bottom of the uh, of the website and then it allows me to manage it right from here. I can see that it's made up of uh, a default of three slides that I can scroll through. I can manage those slides individually. I can change the slide background with the same layout. You'll notice that Wix doesn't necessarily present you with a different layout. Uh, there's a lot of uh, patterns and similarities, so uh, nothing looks very foreign or uh, you know less than intuitive. So you can click through the change slide background, alter the color or design, update the image, update, uh, update if you wanna place a video there as well. You make that change right from the change slide background. Take a look at the different settings that are at your disposal, so different effects. Um, if you want to have um, start and stop with the different videos, you can do that as well. Take a look at different layout options, sizing. Tweak the design. And then of course, hopefully this video is very helpful for you guys, but you're always welcome to click on help for the element that you're managing. Give you a bit more information uh, coming right from right from Wix um, as to uh, how, how to effectively manage that element um, that may be more suitable to your to your circumstance. So then of course, in the same vein, I can drag and drop this element if I, if I want it, let's say, let's say it makes sense right below the about portion of the website, I can drop it in using those same alignment bars, drop it right there. Does it need to be resized? Just slightly. Boom, and there we go. But you guys are already getting a sense of how easy it is to add elements in, to manage those elements, and then remove them all together if we're just not happy with how they look and revert back to existing. Now, again, I'm gonna remind you guys, we went over this begin in the beginning, undo, redo can be your best friends. If you really just wanna go to town making changes, tweaking, altering, um, adding in new copy, uh, you name it, you can always just undo any changes that you make to go back to a previous version. 
Now we hovered over this section uh, previously. It's one of the few sections on this uh, on this template that have body copy. But let me show you how to edit text right from here. So of course, in terms of actually adding or removing text, by simply clicking on edit text, it's going to give me the option to adding in additional text, removing text in this same area, which we can do when I just remove a, a sentence, you get a new sense of the placement and options available. Then you've got the text settings, fonts, font size, formatting options, different effects that are at your disposal. We can animate the text in terms of it coming in. Now, some of this gets a little bit corny, so I wouldn't necessarily tinker with it too much, uh, again, especially if you're just starting out. But you can add in these different little features where once you're scrolling down the site, if you want a user to have some measure of movement, um, my recommendation is, is let the foreground be the focal point. If you want to tinker with this, maybe add a video in the background and that type of thing, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, but again, that's just my preference and, and, and recommendation there. So that's how you alter and manage the text. Let's see here. All right. So we've managed text. We folded in a logo, which looks pretty snazzy, I might add. We've got our navigation easily editable, manageable. We know how to add elements in. We know how to click on right click and delete any elements right as we're managing the website and again keeping in mind that the amenda navigation is always applicable to what element is on site and it's going to give you the settings that are applicable there as well so in the same case with the social bars um, we can select the uh, the icons as they're shown make sure that they're linking to our right facebook page our right pinterest page our right instagram page and um, that everything is correct and accurate before we really set our our website live cool guys well that covers a lot of the questions i get when it comes to building a website navigation logo website elements we know how to update the background so let's say that we're actually ready to go ahead and set our site live we've made all the other changes we're feeling really comfortable comfortable and confident we've had somebody else review the site we can go ahead and click on publish and we can get a free Wix domain. If you have a premium account, which I would recommend, you get a free Wix domain, so you can plug that in to uh, drop in a uh, unique URL. Get a customized domain as another option, which you can get a new domain, or if you already own a domain, if you've got a Bluehost uh, GoDaddy domain, you can always select that option and take it from there. Now, this is gonna open up and do a different feature, so make sure that you pick what's applicable to you, but know that those options are at your disposal with a brand new domain or connecting one that you already own. Great. Well, guys, that gives you a really quick primer into building out your own website. We've picked our template. I've covered all the main questions that I get. If you have any others, please feel free to comment to this video. I'm here to help you out, you guys out with making sure that uh, creating your website is easy, managing it is easy. Uh, leveraging tools like Wix makes this process just so much quicker and more seamless. It removes so many of the headaches that you can get with a uh, overly complicated CMS. So leverage Wix. Use this video as a resource. Leave me any questions or comments. Hope this was helpful for you. Use the link in the video um, to get started. And uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Have a good one.